channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about what it's like to be in the X Factor audience. X Factor is one of my favourite TV shows. That's a lie. X Factor is my favourite TV show. Not ashamed at all. I've been watching X Factor since the very first season and I'm a huge fan. Last weekend I got to go and see the X Factor in the six chair challenge. <laughs> So for the X Factor, they've got the auditions. However, this year the auditions are now in the room, so there is no audience at all. The next stage is boot camp, where they get to go to a mansion and perform in front of the judges to try and get through to the six chair challenge. So the six chair challenge is the stage that I got to see. It was at Wembley, it was huge, it was massive, and all the judges were there, and we got to boo and shout at them and lots of abuse, it was great. <laughs> so 14 of them come along, and there's six chairs, and only six people can go through. And the best part about the six chair challenge is that we are the fifth judge. The judges listen to us, they actually listen to us. We're in the audience, we're saying what our opinion, we're telling them if we want them to stay, we're telling them if they want them to go, we're telling them if we want them to swap, and they will listen to us. So it's great to have your opinion for a TV show where you get to see who gets to go through and who you wanted to go through and get really frustrated if they don't listen to you. It's really frustrating. How did I get these tickets? So I applied for these tickets about a week beforehand through Applause Store. So you go to their website and you pick which TV show you want to go and see. There's not just X Factor on store, there's loads of other uh, live TV shows that you could go and see and go and watch and be a part of. When you're on their website you pick which date you want to go and see, how many tickets you want and you apply for them. It's free. And then you just sit and wait. You will hopefully get an email back saying you've got the tickets and they're for free and it's great and you get to go and see the, your TV show of your choice. They give more tickets out than they actually need. This is crucial. If you apply for these tickets, remember they are free. You may not actually be able to go and see the show. Let me get to it. Because they need to get all the seats filled, they give out more tickets than they need to to ensure that if people don't turn up because they are free and they don't care, then they still have enough people in order to fill the seats. So, if you arrive early enough, you will be able to ensure that you get the seats first. If you arrive too late, then there is a slight possibility that you may not get a seat, which has happened to me on several occasions. I was very upset. <laughs> My advice is to arrive at least two hours before the show in order to make sure that you get your tickets. So on the ticket it said two o'clock start, so I arrived at 12. So when I got there, I queued up and then eventually I got my ticket. Maybe about 30 minutes I was in the queue. So what they do is they give you an actual ticket to get you in the show. When I got my ticket, I went shopping, I went to get something to eat and then they tell you what time that you went to go back. So I went back at 3.30 in order to go and see the judges walk in. That was the plan. Simon Cowell, however, has other plans because before you even go into the show, they do the red carpet where you can go and see all the judges, maybe get some selfies, get some signatures. Who does signatures anymore? And then you go in. However, Simon Cowell was two hours late. We were stood in that queue, fenced off like animals, for about two hours. However, when the judges did arrive, they went down the red carpet, we got to take a couple of pictures and see the judges, and it was great, it was really fun. However, Simon Cowell didn't turn up for the, the red carpet because he was late. God knows what he was doing. And then we queued up to go into the arena. The arena part, getting into the arena was about 30 minutes. It was really, really quick. You can get some snacks, you can get some drinks, and then you go and sit down, and then you get ready for the show. Before the show even starts, you'll get to meet one of the, basically, people that get you geared up and ready for the show people. I don't know what their official title is. And he does a couple of exercises with the audience to get you all rattled up and ready to go. So he gets you booing, he gets you cheering, he gets you doing a standing ovation. Big finish! The next part, they bring out Dermot! Dermot! Oh! Yeah! Well, how did you do it, Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming. 
Thanks for waiting. <laughs> so sorry you had to wait so long. Hello. Hashtag Simon Cat. <laughs> He doesn't do a dance, he just says hello, and he cracks on. Then the extra factor presenters come on and they do a little speech and say hello too. How are you all doing? Having a good day? Yeah! Yay, Rylan! Fan of Rylan. And then the big moment happens, you see the judges again. With Sam and Carl this time. Hello. Games. So you get to see them cheering, waving, they do a little speech, and then you get to see whose category you're actually going to watch. When I was there, I got to see Simon's category, which was the girls, and believe me, after two hours waiting for him to turn up, we were all rattled already. We didn't need that preparation. We were ready to go. We were ready to tell Simon exactly what we thought. <laughs> I'm going to need your help, who we keep, who we lose. Welcome to the Six Chair Challenge. And then the show kicks off. The girls come in one by one, they sing, and then we decide if we like them or not. We do a standing ovation, yay! Or if we didn't like them, boo. There was only one, to be fair. So we were actually kind of nice, sort of. And then once all the seats are filled, then comes the interesting part. The thing is with Simon, he's a bit of a softie. He kind of likes to give the chair to everyone. When all the chairs are filled, then he realizes, oh my God, I've got a bit of a problem. That wasn't a Simon Cowell impression, by the way. I don't know what that voice was. <laughs> and then we get to show our mean side because then we're saying swap and then we're telling Simon exactly which chair we want them to swap for. The one, three, six. That was difficult. <laughs> If I was in number six, it could have been five or one, he wouldn't know, because we were that far away. <laughs> and then, if he made the right decision, we'd all cheer, and if he didn't, then we'd boo him, and then we'd shout abuse at him. <laughs> Simon, you're wrong! I said that a lot. To be fair, I didn't say that a lot. Simon's usually spot on accurate. Except for the last couple, I didn't agree with that, Simon. So yeah, I had an amazing time. I absolutely love being in the audience. I'm hoping to get some more tickets to the live finals. I'm mean, so excited for the X Factor to come back on telly. It should be out probably next month in August, I'm assuming. There's no actual date for this yet, but usually it's in August, September when it starts. If you didn't know that you could apply to be in the audience, I hope this was helpful so you know how to do it and how to apply for your favorite TV show near you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys, bye.